Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Eduardo. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Can you hear me well? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, good. Yes, because I'm, I'm testing the, the new the microphone. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So there is no problem with the sound. And how are you today? I'm fine. Okay. All right. It's a little bit cool today, you know, because it was it was starting to rain. Ah, okay. But uh, suddenly, you know, the rain stopped. But now the is now the, the I mean, is the temperature has come has come down is and that is good. And, and and where are you from, teacher? Where are you live? And this uh, this moment I'm here in Lourdes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's it's not bad. It's actually it's really good. Okay, good. And what about the others? They're coming in. Number we have nine already. Okay. Okay. Where, where do you live, Eduardo? I live in San Marcos. Good evening, oh, okay. Good. Hello, good evening. And how do you feel now? Better? Good, good, very good. Okay, healthy. Very good. Healthy. Uh -huh. Healthy. Saludable, bastante. Okay, good, good. Thank God. Todavía un poco este, convaleciente del coronavirus. Okay. Pero, pero ahí estamos. Ya, you, survive, you survive. Thank God. Thanks God. Uh, yeah. uh, yes. And... I, I, I'm too weak. Mm -hmm. uh, before. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Before the coronavirus. And, two two and, weeks. Two weeks okay. ago. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Two uh, weeks ago. Two weeks uh, in the past. Uh, you had you had the, the the COVID the COVID nineteen. Okay, the coronavirus. Uh, coronavirus. Yes. My wife and me. Uh -huh, yes. But only you in, in the house, nobody else. Two. My oh. my wife and, and me. Oh my god. But she's okay too. Yes. Thanks God. Okay, fine. But you were you were in the house. You didn't uh, you didn't go to the to the hospital. No, no, quarantine. Uh, uh, quarantine in the house. In the house, yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, that's that's better, right? Y ahí está. O lo que queda un poco mal uno de la vista y de varias cosas queda débil. Que eh, secuelas. Bastante. Me nos dijeron que, porque yo les dije que tengo una sobrina que es doctora y le digo que recibiendo las clases a veces veo como empañado y no, no era así antes. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y dice, ah, me dice lo que pasa, que está débil. Bueno, no lo siente, va. El cerebro lo, lo quiere hacer a uno sentir bien, pero el cuerpo en realidad no responde porque está bastante desgastado por el. Uh -huh. Virus, pero ahí estamos, teacher. Para, eh, Dios. Pero es este temporal. Es temporal, dicen, pero son varias semanas, algunos, ah, okay. algunos es poco, algunos mucho, pero mm -hmm. no saben ni cuánto, como pues, it's it new. Yes, it depends on your, on your, uh, probably on your defense too, right? Yeah. Como está la defensa y todo eso, right? So, yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right, good. We'll see yeah, then. Yes, that's a good thing. Uh -huh. 
you're here and you're studying English. You're practicing yeah, yeah. your English. <laughs> okay, so that's the, the good thing about it. Okay, good. Now let's see what we have for today. Yes, for Finn, now we have more people. Well, let's get it started because, yes, here. I'm gonna share this part here. Okay. Okay, for today we have <clears throat> the knowledge check. Knowledge check. Yesterday we were talking about the regular verbs, right, in past tense. Okay verbs that we need to add ed okay for example we have instructions change and then here for example we have instructions change the verbs in parentheses to the past to complete the story okay so we have the verb that we have here in parentheses we have to write it here in past tense okay so then we have on friday nights on Friday night, I, what is the past wait. tense of wait? Wait. 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 So we have, wait a minute, we have, have to change my, my keyboard to English. Okay, good. So we have didn't call, okay. I just stay home. I just stay home and watch, 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 watch TV. On Saturday, I visited. 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 Okay. Visited my visited. friend Frank. Okay. We talked. We and talked listen. and listened. 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 listened to music. Okay, and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we okay. cooked. 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 Okay. cooked a great meal. Cooked a great meal. Cooked a great meal. All right. So then, I didn't negative work. form. Didn't know I didn't work. I didn't work. I didn't work. Work. Very hard. I didn't work. Uh huh. Very hard on sa on, on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. I then didn't study. I didn't, didn't study at all. I didn't study oops, I, at, all. at all. Okay, at all, nothing. I didn't study at all. And then I just walked, I just walked to the mail and, and shopped. 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 Okay, and shopped. shopped. Okay, and shopped. All right, and shopped. Now we have here. Look at the answers, and we have waited, okay, didn't call, or you can say did not call without the contraction, right? Por si no le encuentran el, el apostrofe, you can write did not call, no problem. Okay. Then we have a, 
watched. Then we have visited, listened, cooked, didn't work. Um, our li, the i, we have to omit it from here because it's already i here. I didn't work here. Didn't study. En estos ejercicios tienen que tener cuidado con los espacios también a veces, right? Okay, because the space, if you have one space here extra, it gives you a wrong answer. Okay, be careful with the spaces and everything. Okay, in this case, you say I just walked to the mall and shopped. And Teacher. Shop. Yes. Eh, el, el verbo de shop, eh, a mí no me lo agarraba porque solo le, le, no le puse la otra P. Ajá. Hay, okay. ma, hay, hay más verbos así similares a ese. Yes. Yes, there are some others. Ok. Mm, Pero hay okay. una respuesta. Ok. Y ya se la voy a dar. Ok. Yes. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. No problem. Very good. Ok. Now we have it here again. It says... Okay, I'm going to read it now. It says, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched TV. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Okay. Now, if we submit it, then we have all of them are now correct. Okay. Now, let me see, I don't know if we will be able to, probably we will. Can you see the documenting word? No? Mm -hmm. Hello, no, you don't oh, see it? No, 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 okay. no. Okay, perfect, no problem. Then we have to leave that one and here. Okay, this is what we studied last night, remember? And here. Nice to be. Okay. Okay, traten de mantener el micrófono apagado para que puedan escuchar la, la explicación, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Nancy, this is the question that you were asking me. If the verb ends in consonant, add ed. Okay, what is a consonant? What is a consonant? B, C, e, D, D, F, F G, G, H, okay. A. No I, no A, no E, no I, O, U, right? A, E, I, O, U, vocals, okay, vowels, vowels. Then the rest are consonants. Okay, if you have, if the verb finishes or ends in consonant, only E, D. Return, return. Return. Help, help. 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 Okay. This if the verb help. ends in, in e, okay, in e, add ed. 
live, only the D, lived. Okay? No doble E. Okay? Only the D. Live, lived. Create, created. Die, died. Okay? Esta es la segunda. Two rules. And, y esta es la pregunta que me hacían. In one syllable, words, if the words end, if the verb ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, combinations, consonant, vowel, consonant, double the final consonant, and add ed. ¿Qué significa esto? Que hay que cumplir. Primero que sea monosílabo. ¿Qué es monosílabo? Un sonido. Uh -huh. Hop. ¿Ok? Que tenga la terminación o la, term ajá, la terminación consonante, vocal, consonante. Y en estos casos se dobla la P. ¿Ya? Consonante. Es el caso que me preguntaban ahí. Lo voy a poner en mayúsculas. Shop. Ok. Aquí tenemos. Shop es un solo sonido, correct? Shop. Ok, no es como este. Return. Este es two syllable. Return. Help es monosílabo, pero no cumple con esto. Porque lleva... Vowel, vocal, ah. vocal. Vowel. Vocal, vocal. Consonant, consonant. Cons perdón. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Consonant. Exacto. Por esa razón es que no cumple con este con esta regla, right? So then, but shop, pero shop, sí, shop, primero, consonante, perdón, monosílabo. Segundo, tiene, tiene acá, oops, wait a minute. Ok, tenemos consonant, vowel, and consonant. Ok. Similar to this. Yes. And then aquí le ponemos doble P. All right. That's shop, shopped. Entonces, esa es la razón. O sea, aquí, ¿cuántos hay? Habría que ir buscando cada vez que aparezca esta regla. Ok. And we have, for example, pero lo importante aquí es conocer la regla. En el caso rough, que es frotar, right? Like you have, for example, beat the rough. Okay, so rough, rough. You see, rough, rough. double B, E, D. Okay? Rule number four. However, do not double one syllable words endings in Y. X or Y. Aquí vienen las excepciones. Por ejemplo, bow, no es la W, la X, acá oh, wow. no las consideran como una consonante en el sonido. Estas tres, W, X, Y, y solo agregan ED. Bow, bowed. Mix, mixed. Ok. Aquí lo hacen como que fuera una T, una, e, una S. En play, Play, como que fuera un sonido de vocal. Play, played. Ok, aunque son monosílabas, no las consideran consonantes como esto. Vowel, eh, consonant, vowel, consonant. Ok. Y aunque o sea que cumpla tiene... con PBC. Ajá, ok. Estas tres. Estas tres mm. quedan fuera de las consonantes. Okay. Entonces tenemos A, E, I, O, U. And these three, ok como no consonantes, right? A, E, I, O, U, N, W, X, and Y. Okay? These are not considered here. And in words, of two more syllables, right? 
that N in consonant vowel, consonant combination, double the last consonant, only if the last syllable is stressed. ¿Se entiende acá? Okay. So we have prefer. Le han puesto acá la tilde. And visit and prefer. Entonces, si estas palabras son monos, eh, two syllables o más y terminan con consonante, vowel, consonant, pero si el estrés, la fuerza de voz va a la final, aquí la duplican. Esa es la regla para que a veces aparece prefer con doble R y aquí visit solo con ED. Porque the last syllable is not a stress, no está eh, tildada, right? So you don't double the T. The last syllable is a stressed. ¿Ok? Tiene que ver mucho con los sonidos, ¿ok? En esta regla para escribirlos, it depends on the pronunciation, ¿ok? Uh, if the verb ends in consonant, why change the Y to I and add ED? Okay, worried, worried. Say un final con consonante más una Y o Y. You say worried, worried. You change the I, the Y to I, ED. If the verb ends in vowel plus Y, okay, do not change the Y to I. Play, played. Annoy, annoyed. Se cambia la Y por la I solo cuando es consonante y Y. Cuando es vocal y la Y, solo ED. Y ahí están las seis reglas para escribir the, pa the past tense of the regular verbs. Ok. Esto no es de aprendérselo de, eh, en un solo día. Esto es, lleva su tiempito a eh, aprenderlo. Y en uh, la recomendación es, si tienen buena memoria y quieren memorizarlo, no problem. Ok. Y la otra es a través de la práctica. Ok. Eh, is when you when you read when you see you will see the the spelling pero por lo, si ustedes ya se recuerdan de la regla sabrán el por qué va mire aquí por qué está ah se acuerdan de la regla es para eso no es para que ocupen la regla a la hora de hablar okay solo es para cuando les surja la duda como me preguntaban acá que por qué shop lleva la doble p y otras no entonces aquí está el por qué this is what you need to know. Questions in this moment? Teacher. Yes. And this document you are going to provide us. This document? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, I can give it to you. Uh, but I will give it to you at the end of the, uh, después de la otra clase, porque también okay, lo voy a usar okay. en la siguiente. Y, okay. Y después se los pongo ahí en el chat, no problem, para que lo tengan y, y lo practiquen. Thanks. Okay. Sure, no problem. Okay. Any other question? Eh, teacher, me puede repetir la última opción donde dice play. Okay. Por favor. Here. Play, played. Ay, sí. Okay. Sí, o sea que, o sea que cuando termina en vocal, dice que no lleva ed. Sí lleva ed. Y cuando termina en... Cuando la I... Por ejemplo, Rick. Ajá. Ajá, ¿Cuándo? que yo pensé... Dígame, sí. dígame, dígame. Yo pensé que, o sea, play iba en, en, la, en la regla número 5. Ajá, ok, ok. Vea, son, dos, ajá, son dos formas diferentes donde aparece la Y. La Y aparece precedida 
de consonantes, o sea, que lleva una consonante antes y aparece precedida de vocales. Entonces, uh -huh. entonces, cuando aparece con consonante y la Y, entonces se cambia la I por ED. Y cuando aparece precedida por una vocal, entonces solo se agrega ED. Y la, y la Y siempre queda ahí. Uh -huh. Solo con, cuando está una vocal, sí. Solo cuando está antes de la Y una vocal, antes de la y. va a usar ED. Uh -huh. Sin... Sin eliminar la Y. Sin convertirla en Y. Pero cuando aparezca con una vocal antes, entonces ahí sí lo va a cambiar. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. So, ah, por ejemplo, tenemos el caso de... Aquí lo voy a poner el más común y similar a ese. Study. ¿Cuál es el pasado? ¿El 5 o el 6? Es el 5. ¿Por qué? Why? Termina en consonante y e y. Porque Ajá, no que, lleva una, lleva una D. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, una consonante antes de la Y. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí se la cambiamos. ¿Ya? Sí. Ok. Eh, let me see. Lo, pa, eh, acá, bueno, ya lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero ese es otro ejemplo acá. Let me see. Cry, right, teacher. Uh -huh, that's the one I'm going to use. Or a stay. Cry. Cry. And then you say five or six. Five. 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 Okay, five. right. Very good. Five. And if we have right. the stay is five or six. 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 Ya ven, ya me dio que una regla ya no se pierden. Okay. Six. Thank you. Yeah. Ahora ya después vienen los, los irregulares, ¿va? que eso ya es otra cosa que sí lo vamos a ver. Aquí dice exceptions, pero es porque son irregulares, right? Ok, pero ven acá, esta es la una y ya luego está lo demás, que lo vamos a ver hoy. Ya cuando entremos con los verbos irregulares, que ahí no hay regla, pero esto sí tiene. Ya cuando ustedes tengan este documentito ahí, ya van a poder hacer un repaso de, para estar practicando, ¿ok? Ya en un cuaderno se agarra y ya lo van. Van agarrando experience. ¿Ok? Ok. Now, this is, esta es la parte escrita. Ahora vamos a ir a la pronunciation. ¿Ok? Vamos a la pronunciation of the three forms. Now, let's see. Here. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. Okay. When pronouncing simple past verbs, the ED ending of simple past verbs has. Okay, is the sound okay? Can you hear? No. No. No, no sound. Okay, perfect. Let me fix it. Three different sounds. No. Let's listen and practice. Yes. Yes. Verbs okay. and yeah. okay. But it worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Clean. Stay. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or it sound, 
we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a V sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Plan has the sound. So we pronounce past as blended. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. <clears throat> Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Looked, washed, watched, looked, laughed, watched, breathed, watched, kissed, loud, danced, breathed, fixed, kissed. The nice. following consonants fixed. have voice sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, Called. damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Called, cleaned, off. Okay. ¿Qué letra es esta en español? En Spanish. P. 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 Okay. Y la pronunciación. Esa es la, la letra y el sonido. ¿Y el sonido? Sí. ¿En, en español, ¿cuál es el sonido de este? No tiene sonido. Sí. ¿Ah? ¿Tiene el sonido de? De P. P. Va. Sonido fuera. Hagan, hagan silencio, por favor. Hagan silencio todos, todos, todos. Y escuchen. ¿Qué oyen? Aire, ¿verdad? Porque todas estas que están acá, eso es lo que van a, a, a así van a sonar. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, aquí usa help, 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 help. Entonces, usted no dice helpy. ¿Verdad? Then you say, no se pronuncia la P como tal, ¿right? Y el sonido, help, help. Entonces, es más fácil luego hacer el sonido de helped 
helped, helped. looked 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 wash washed washed what this washed and watched watched yo estoy aquí exagerando estos sonidos porque para que ustedes los escuchen pero cuando generalmente se habla el inglés you don't uh, hay que acostumbrarse a hacerlo y a, y a practicarlo para, para poderlo identificar, right? You say watched, laughed. Esta es una f, 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 laughed, 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 eh, breathed, breathed. La th y como th, como una z, breathed. Kissed, 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 danced, danced. Aquí está la X, por eso que no se consideraba como vocal allá, sino que ponía fixed, como que fuera la fixed. Pues todo esto se le llama voiceless, pero cuando uno se pone acá la, la mano en la garganta, como decía en el video, se va a oír... Right, so this is only aire. En las otras es diferente. You say el, l, cold. Aquí le va a vibrar. Okay, en, en. Dice no. Okay. Ar, ra, ra. Offered. Damage. G, g, g. Okay. All these ones have, that's And that's why they call them voiced. Voiced is porque tienen vibración. Voiceless, they don't. Okay? And these ones are voiced, pero ya tienen las T y D. Todas se pronuncian con I, D. Okay. Now look at, listen to this. A little bit more practice. Walked, as in, I walked away. What is the last sound that you hear in the verb? Can you hear? Walked. So, yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Very Here's good. The... Very good. All right. Yes. As in, I walked away. What is the last sound that you hear in the verb? Walked. The ed verb ending sounds like a t. Walked. Even though it ends in the letter d. What do you hear when I say smelled, as in, it smelled bad? The ed verb ending sounds like a d, smelled. And when I say visited, as in, I visited New York City, how did I pronounce that ed ending? Visited. The ed verb ending sounds like id, visited. This lesson teaches you the three rules that explain the differences in past tense verb ED pronunciation. But don't be surprised if most Americans can't explain these rules to you. The truth is, Americans make these changes in sound without even noticing. Intro. Why the sound changes. Place your fingertips on the front of your neck and pronounce the following words. What do you feel on your fingers when you say the underlined sound? Vow. Fake. Zebra. Snake. When we pronounce voiced sounds, our vocal cords vibrate when we say those sounds. V -z. Did you feel the vibration? When we pronounce voiceless sounds, our vocal cords do not vibrate. <laughs> No vibration. This vibration or lack of vibration then carries forward to the following sound in the word. Therefore, this vibration or lack of vibration explains why we pronounce the past tense of verbs in three voiced or voiceless ways. T, D, or id. T, final sound. Verbs ending in voiceless sounds, P, K, 
cause the ed ending to be pronounced as the voiceless t with no vocal cord vibration. Listen and repeat. He popped a balloon. He popped a balloon. Popped. Mm. popped. They talked a lot. They say they talked, talked, talked. Uh -huh. The e disappears, right? They talked a lot. They talked a lot. But listen to this. Lo otro que tiene que poner atención es cómo se unen las palabras. They talked a. They talked a lot. Okay. Por eso es que a un americano usted le pregunta y es bien difícil que le diga porque ellos solo lo usan. Okay. Like we do in Spanish. They talked. To, they talked a lot. Talked. She frothed a cup of milk. Frothed. I laughed at the movie. Left. Laughed. She kissed the frog. Kissed the frog. Kissed. We brushed it off. We brushed it off. Brushed. I reached around for it. Reached. The final sound. Verbs ending in the voiced b, g, v, v, z, z, j, m, n, ng, r, l, cause the ed ending to be pronounced as a voiced d. Listen and repeat. It bobbed up and down. Bobbed up and down. Bobbed. 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 He begged her to stay. He begged her to stay. Begged. Begged. She breathed loudly. She breathed. Loudly. Breathed. Breathed. They loved it. They loved it. He raised her expectations. Raised her expectations. Raised. Raised. They bridged the gap. They bridged the gap. Bridged. 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 I claimed it was mine. I claimed. 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 They banned new members. Banned. Band. 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 She banged into the chair. She banged. Banged. He cleared it up. He cleared it up. Cleared. cleared. I rolled up the paper. Rolled up the paper. Rolled. Rolled. Ud or id final sound. Verbs ending in the sounds t or d will cause the ed ending of a verb to be pronounced as the syllable ud or id. Listen and repeat. I visited the Empire State Building. I visited the Empire State Building. Visited. She edited the research paper. Edited. 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 We ended the game early. Ended. Ended. He breaded the chicken. Breaded. Breaded. These ED pronunciation rules are particularly important because in English, we connect our speech when we have a word that ends in a consonant and is followed by a word that begins with a vowel. In this case, the way you say the verb's ed ending will be heard loudly and clearly. For example, he walked away is pronounced he walked away. Okay, this is what we hear. Esto es lo que se oye. We walked away. He walked away. He walked away. Por eso que dicen, 
uno dice, no le entiendo. Lo que aprende es que uno a veces no, no ha aprendido aún a decodificar estos sonidos. ¿Right? Como le, creo que al inicio les decía a ustedes de, pero me voy a ver, ¿right? So it sounds like, he walked away. He walked away. Okay, he walked away. He walked away. Cuando hay un sonido consonante y luego acá hay una, una vocal, se une. Walked away. Aquí no, eh? he walked. He walked. He walked away. Did you hear that in walked clearly? See the lesson on connected speech and linking for more practice and explanation. Okay. There are more, but for the moment, this is what we need. Okay, questions in this moment? Okay, remember this? For damage, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs and then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay. So remember that in this link that we have here, uh, Bocaro, this is the one. You click on that link and it will take you to this place, to this site where you can do your recording, okay? So you can record the sounds, you can practice, okay? And after you can share the link, okay? This is a way that you can, uh, oh, you can do it also with your cell phone right, to practice, and after you can use this, okay? So this is gonna be the, the homework for tomorrow that you can practice, okay, some of the verbs in the video that we have on the platform, right? I will give you the link for this other video, okay, right there in the chat. so that you can uh, you can also practice this is in youtube okay let me see here there you go okay grisela okay good all right so there you, you have the link the set of this video, okay, so that you can so that you can have more practice, okay, because this is of listening and listen, listen many times, okay, the video, if it is uh, about eight minutes, you can listen to two times and after practice. Then in the afternoon you can do it again, or when you have time, like three or four times a day, just to, to, to practice more, okay? Questions in this moment? Solo no entendí, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde es que nos conectamos al Bucarú? Okay. Uh, usted tiene eso en la plataforma, right? Sí, the video? Sí, sí. Yes. Sí. Aquí abajito dice add post. ¿Quién dice discussion? Uh -huh. ¿Quién dice practice? Click. Y ya aquí ya le aparece el... el El, uh, el link le da clic acá y ya está only okay, okay. gracias all right no problem no se rasque aquí bájese ok now Remember that this class probably is just about practice, right? It is about practice, practice, practice. 
And now we have the other one say, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. Now we are going to see the other verbs. Okay, to complete the, to complete the round. Here we have. Okay, in this moment, it's always in past tense, but now it's not with ed. Now is with the other verbs. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On this chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First we add the subject I, then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past, didn't. After that we add the verb in the present, do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, what are the what irregular are verbs? verbs? That we have. Okay, do, did, a, a sentence with did, okay? What is a sentence with did? Okay. I did my homework, okay? I did some uh, shopping, what else? What other example did you see here? I did exercise. 
I did exercise. Uh -huh. And get up. In past tense, I got up. What time? What time did you get up today? What time did you get up today? Seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, I got up. Then you say the sentence in past tense. Mm -hmm. I got up at seven o'clock. I got up at three o'clock. I got up at four o'clock. Okay. Where did you go? After you finish. Where did you go? Uh huh. I went. Where did you go? I went to the dentist. I went to the dentist. Correct, Sumar. Very good. Uh, came, uh, met, the past tense of meet. I met. I met Jennifer Lopez this morning. <laughs> huh? I met. I met new people, no. I met new people, yes, this morning, yes, correct. Uh -huh, Veronica, who did you meet today? I met, I met a, a boyfriend, a husband. Today? Uh -huh. No, no, no. <laughs> my friend, my, 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 my friend. A new friend. A new friend. A new friend. <laughs> yes. Remember that meet is la primera vez que uno conoce a alguien, right? I met. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. You can say, I met my husband. You can say three, how many years ago? Oh. Five years 20, ago. 20. 20 years. 20 years. Oh, yesterday. Right. Yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I met, then you say, I met my husband 20 years ago. Okay. Then you can use it. I met my husband 20 years ago. Okay. And yes. Okay. Thank you. I have a problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Just, just that. Ah, okay. Good. Now you can hear you. What else? Another sentence? Come or came. I came, uh -huh. you came, he came, she came. I came to super, the supermarket. I came from the supermarket, okay? I came from the supermarket. Good. Uh -huh. What else? I came from the bank. I came from the bank. I came from, okay? So I returned, right? I came back. I came back from the bank. Okay, past tense of have, had. Past I had tense. problem with my microphone. I had. In the class, to the class. All right, very good, okay. I had problems with my microphone at the beginning of the class. Good. Thank you. All right, thank you. What else? One more? One more that we can use. I have one dollar at sixty dollars. I have? I had sixty dollars. I had sixty dollars before I went to the supermarket. Finish this activity, okay. share your work in our discussion forums. You can say I had fifty dollars before. I went to the supermarkets. Now, I don't have money. Okay, now the supermarket has it. Okay, so you have some examples here already, right? I bought, in the past tense of uh, buy, I bought clothes last week. I didn't buy clothes last week. I drove to my work yesterday, or I dropped to work yesterday. I didn't write to work yesterday. You see, I sang a song 
last Tuesday, I didn't sing a song. Okay. So this is, so if you see the, the idea of the, of the regular and irregular verbs is the same, right? The difference is that the regular verbs end with ed. And the irregular verbs, this ones, there is no rule. Okay, here we just have to remember. Past tense of go? Went. 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 Stay? Stay. Stay. Stayed. Stayed, right? Stayed. Uh, get? Stay. Got. 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 Go? When. When. Have? Have. Had. Okay, had. And conversation Have. three, take? Took. 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 Uh, take, took. Took. You have to speak? Spoke. Okay, read? Read. 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 Okay, read. watch? Watched. 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 Okay, vamos a detenernos acá. We're going to stop here for today and do the, the knowledge check, okay, for tomorrow. And, uh, and, and check the videos again, and I will send you the information uh, later, okay? Okay. Okay, okay everybody. Thank so you, have you. a very good night. Good yes, night. No, thank you. Good See night. you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Take care.